All right, guys. <laughs> I apologize for the amateur beginning, but we are getting there day by day. I really want to dedicate this stream to Wave Nerd Eight One Four Eight. He told me that I should check out this thing called AI Devin. I didn't know what it was. And to give you some context about where I am in my life, I just got done with the most intense technical project of my life. The entire time I was thinking to myself, I wish AI existed to do some of the hard things from this project. I wish the AI existed to install the software for me. I wish the AI existed to write tests. I was just dreaming of an AI tool that could make my life easier and give me the chance to work on the, the, um, the problems that mean something to the company. I dreamed it and you guys brought it to me. But before I get into what AI Devin is and this tool that many content creators are saying are will replace my job, I would like to calm down the hype a little bit. I know some of you are following me because you wish to get a career in tech, because you want to work for a certain company. And I still want to say there is hope. So without further ado, Let's get into the show. All right, let me share my screen. Before I tell you about AI Devin, I want you to remember this post by Elon Musk. He says, AI will run, run out of electricity and transformers in 2025. I want you guys, let's read a little bit of the article and I, I'll, I'll, uh, I will let you make your own decisions, but it says, I've never seen any technology advance faster than this. The chip shortest may be behind us, but AI and EVs are expanding on such a uh, <laughs> rapacious, I don't know how to pronounce that word, rate that the world will be faced to supply crunch in the electricity and transformers next year, says Elon Musk. Let's see, do I want to read the article? I think the entirety, but yeah, let's read the last part. My not, uh, then the next shortage will be electricity. They won't be able to find enough electricity to run all the chips. I think next year you'll see just, you can't find enough electricity to run all the chips. The simultaneous growth of electricity cars and AI, both of which need electricity, both of which need voltage transformers, I think is creating a tremendous demand for electric, electrical equipment and for the electrical power generation. So, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it, Liv Nerd. So, electricity is what powers AI and the Transformers. And as you see, I had a course in my graduate program, and they talked about how much things like Bitcoin, how bad Bitcoin and all the electricity that these computers are on hurt the environment. Using electricity, that's why Ethereum... I don't know if you saw my past live stream where I talked about why I'm a big fan of Ethereum. Ethereum has a proof of stake um, algorithm so that it's less intensive on computers, on the, on the environment or whatever. <laughs> but I think there's a lot of hope inside of being a programmer still because the limits of AI will be seen in the next few years. AI is definitely the future, but I still think it is important to be programming and learning about these things. So for those who are looking for a job, I would wanna say master the tools, look into it and do what needs to be done. I think I saw another article talking about how the White House is urging new uh new programmers to learn rust because it's memory safe so there are still chances for us to make an impact on the industry but we must be able to use instead of letting ai take our jobs let's let ai take the jobs that we don't want to have and so now with that in mind let's get into ai devin Hey, 
I'm Scott from Cognition AI, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm going to ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin. So if you don't know what a benchmark is, it's basically just a, a, um, if you want to know how performant your code is, then you would want a benchmark to see the speed of your application. And it's something that any computer science could do. It takes, let's just say it takes an hour to do. It's not really complicated. It's not as far as on a scale of one to 10 with five being a two year, no, yeah, I would say with five being a programmer that has two years of college experience and 10 being creating chat GPT or, uh, or writing the code that we used to go to the moon. I would say this is closer to a five. It's not very complicated, but I won't explain anything else, but let's keep checking on what this, what it can do. So it looks like it gave some steps, research the API documentation, replicating other perplexed to understand the request formats and parameters, write a Python script that constructs and send HTTP requests to each API with the same prompt and parameters. Like this stuff right here can be done with ChatGPT. These questions, I'm glad that it broke it down into smaller questions. But at the same time, I think that nothing that it is doing Document the script and benchmark practice, including it. Yeah, the documentation part is really nice. Report the findings back to the user with collected data, any relevant visualization or summaries. Yeah, I think a lot of this stuff is really cool, but it's not that complex, but it did say, I will, I have, I must admit, it is saving a lot of time. It makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds a whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. So. I want to say this is exactly how I do my job. Um, I use the terminal, I use the internet, and I look on Stack Overflow a lot. And a lot of times, a lot of a, many parts of my job can be copy and paste. But there are situations where this is a problem that has never before been seen, and that's what I am curious about. Can AI Devin do like? Somebody has to be the first person to write a, a stack overflow question. Somebody has to be the first person to discover the tool. Is AI Devin capable of looking at the documentation? Like I would love to see its reasoning process of how it went. Let's see if we can go back and see a little bit about what chat completion, it went together AI. So it went to the site. And so, yeah, I'm a little bit curious about some of its reasoning methods in order to find. In this, this case, stuff. Devin I'm really glad. I think they did a really good decision of like showing a, instead of like this being done in the terminal, they're showing it live. So we have some type of proof that this is not just something mastermind. But um, in another thing with the Google bar, remember there was a scandal about Google bar where people basically hyped up the presentation, but under the hood, it was not all that. So I'm really interested to see what the source code is gonna look like. Decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement. Reruns the code. I think that's what's really cool. It debugs it itself, which is interesting. Um, 
because I have to do a lot of that as well. But with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. It's a really hard problem. And we've only- So yeah, I think that's what's interesting, right? You guys see, like some of you guys ask, is ChatGPT taking my job? Are we just using ChatGPT? If you look at this benchmark, ChatGPT can only do 0.5% of the things that human software developers do. But a jump up to 13% is insanely, um, is, is great. It means this is probably going to replace a lot of jobs. And it's funny to me, guys, because it's like, there, so much of software engineering is, used to be so easy. If a person just understood how to look up CSS documentation and master that, there used to be CSS masters. But, and the point, if you don't know what CSS is, it's the thing that styles our websites. None of that required math. None of that required complex problem solving. It required memorization and experience. But now we're seeing AI come in and take, do a better job than actual humans in these areas. But as far as complex problem solving and re, uh, creating code or working in a code base, I would love to see what AI, um, how good AI Devin is. And I think they have some more videos on their, their website. So we're gonna take a look in a second. We just started, but we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. In the meantime, if you'd like to try out Devin on your own real world tasks, send us a request below and we'd be happy to forward it to Devin. <laughs> oh, and we'd be happy to- Matt, I'm just gonna say this dude looks like the stereotypical engineer, but it's fine. <laughs> but my man Wagner said, yes, debugging is a big win. Debugging, guys, is the most painful part of programming. When you don't understand why your code is not working, you have to go down many different rabbit holes. It's like playing a game of who killed who killed Roger Rabbit? And you have to do that in business. You have to do that on a sprint basis because usually the guys at the top really don't care about bugs. They don't understand talk, not that. They don't understand technology. All they want is their code, their product. So it is quite interesting. Let's see. They have the cognition bug. Let me go ahead and switch over to the next. Stop the screen. But yeah, I'm curious if anybody in the chat thinks that AI Devin is gonna take their job or how impressed are you with AI Devin at this current moment? Because for me, it is, it is some, it's great. It's 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 definitely the biggest progression in AI that we've seen thus far. But still, I think there it has a while ago before I would confidently say it's gonna replace a junior dev. I still think junior devs devs if I hired a junior dev right now to work on a project, they would have to spend less time working on debugging tasks and installing tasks now. They could work on problems that really matter. And I can teach problem solving. Hopefully you guys can hear it. And I'm going to show you how Devin, our AI software engineer, can autonomously learn from a blog post. Within a few minutes, Devin successfully generated this back desktop background image for me with my name on it. So all I had to do was send this blog post in a message to Devin. From there, Devin actually does all the work for me, starting with reading this blog post and figuring out how to run the code. In a couple of minutes, Devin's actually made a lot of progress. And if we jump to the middle here, you can see that Devin's been able to find and fix some edge cases and bugs that the blog post did not cover for me. And if we jump to the end, we can see that Devin uh, sends me the final result, which I love. I also got two bonus images uh, here and here. 
So uh, let me know if you guys see anything hidden in these. <laughs> yeah. So basically, yeah, there's an image. Um, I think in order to do this, you need an API. So it's not as complicated as it could be, but still some impressive work, like being able to learn from blog posts could save me a lot of different time. Thanks again for watching the video to the entirety. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Every comment helps me help other engineers have an easier career. And check me out. I'm live streaming every Sunday or every week. You want to stay in tune for that. It's a way where you can talk to a main level engineer for free. Come through. <laughs>